What's up guys, Nether Void here with more EQ Next Landmark, EverQuest Next Landmark, and uh, Episode 4. I'm going to go on medium settings. FPS is a little low because I'm recording. Uh, I just like the uh, graphics a little bit better this way. Let me know if it's too choppy for you. It's only at like 30 FPS, 28. Uh, we got kind of an ambitious episode uh, planned out today. We're going to be doing a lot of tungsten stuff, like this advanced, or this adventurer's grappling hook. Requires lots of tungsten and silver. Uh, pretty much everything I want to craft today is going to cost a lot of tungsten and silver. So I want to make an adventurer's grappling hook, which you can see here. Uh, I want to make an outfitter's table. That's the last of the tier one, I guess you could call them, um, tier one crafting stations. It says tier three, but really it's it's the tier one version of this crafting station. This is the one that makes uh, different clothing and stuff like that. Uh, but that is 10... 10 uh, tungsten ingots, 15 silver, uh, 400 topaz, and some of this petrified wood, which means I'm going to have to chop down more trees, which I'm not really looking forward to, but whatever. The tree chopping to me is the worst. I don't know why. Just, uh, maybe because the animations aren't there yet. Uh, hopefully they're going to add some, but it's just not there yet. So uh, also I wanted to say each one of these tables has like an upgraded version where you get better efficiency, and I'll be working on those once I get all the uh, common tables done. So the next thing I want is a tungsten pick because, for, well, for multiple reasons, it's going to allow me to basically get the higher level materials. It also mines faster, and that's going to really help because I noticed already mining tungsten and silver takes a lot longer with the iron pick. So having a tungsten pick will speed that process up. Um, that's pretty cool. So that's going to be 20 ingots, 20 elemental tungsten, 60 amethyst, which I have not found yet, but I'm sure... I'll be able to, and 15 more of that heartwood. There's going to be a lot of that petrified heartwood out of this. these things I want to build today. Last but not least, a sickle. Silver sickle is the only one available. And here are the ingredients here. Uh, 12 silver ingots, elemental silver, topaz, and more petrified heartwood. <laughs> Damn. But this will allow me to start gathering plants and I don't know. I don't, I don't think you can do anything with them yet, but when they bring out alchemy like potions and stuff, I'll have plants already ready to rock. So... I kind of also wanted to make the smooth tool. Let's add that to the list here. Again, very ambitious episode. And because the reason is, now we've got 20 tungsten. Like tongue ingot. I'm, I have a list of everything I want. That way also I know how much I have to mine before I can stop. 20 elemental tungsten. And then 200 Amethyst. I knew I needed more amethyst somewhere, but I couldn't remember where. So, again, updating my list here. I need... 80 tungsten ingots total. I need 40 elemental tungsten. Um, and then 260 amethyst. Because the total for all these things is uh, 80 tungsten ingots, 37 silver ingots, 40 elemental tungsten, 32 elemental silver, 700 topaz, 260 amethyst, and 65 petrified heartwood. So that's going to be, again, quite the gathering process. So the reason I want the smoothing tool is because I've started making these pillars for my second story here, uh, which is going to be like my housing area actually up there, and I don't really like the square look. I want to make I want to make round pillars, so I think I can use the smoothing tool to do that, but I'm not positive. I've also got up uh, some marble. I got it from I went to a tier two already. Uh, crash. Hold on a second. Okay, we're back. The game has crashed two additional times that I did not show you. I was trying to open my inventory and click this little button here, and I couldn't do it. I think I'm going to have to change my record button for this game because those stupid icon things, those help icons are really bugging me and that's F12. Anyway, I did find some uh, some marble in the tier 2 uh, zone. I've actually been to a tier 2 biome already. Just kind of mine up stuff. I saw found some amaranthine. Amar uh, that's a special stone you need for different things. I can't even remember exactly what it is. It's something in here. Not a claim flag. Or additional. Nope. I can't remember. Uh, it might be the refining station. There we go. Like the superior saw requires that. So, um, that's what I kind of wanted to do before I actually got on. Uh, is go to that tier two and then try to find something. You know, try to make sure I knew what I was doing before. And it's gonna crash again. Oh, it didn't crash. Let's do this. Let's go to the tier two space. I want to show you, show it to you. I just went to beach, which is like the first tier two I saw, because I wanted to see. Uh, what kind of materials were there? And that was one thing that uh, somebody was saying, like, 
I think it was on the wiki. All you need to do to see what materials are, are, are in the place you are going is just kind of walk around for a while and see what's on the ground. Uh, and you'll know what's there. So I'm just going to go to the portal spire here. Click the little thing here. And I went to beach. Um, but I haven't tried something else. Cliff. Let's try cliff. I know beach tier 2 has what I'm looking for. Um, the one thing I do like about beach is it has sand. And then underneath the sand is rock. Uh, so when you're mining things out, you're getting stone uh, instead of getting dirt. Which uh, That's the only thing I don't like about where I live is underneath everything is dirt, and I don't need dirt. I mean, I don't need it as a building material. I need stone mainly. So it's nice to come mine out all your stuff from one of these biomes that has a lot of stone. Uh, this looks like another desert biome. Not really sure about this. Wow, my FPS is dropping like rock. So I just run around looking for stuff. Here's iron. I don't need that. In the tier 2, I don't know how much of this you're going to keep finding. I would rather them not spawn iron and, and such because I don't need iron. I need... Ah, this... Tourmaline? Tour, tourmaline? Yeah, this is tourmaline. Let's put it on loot here. Yeah, I don't need that. All right. Let's keep looking. Oh, here we go. Here's one I wanted to show you. This is Topaz. If you notice, Topaz is yellow a lot like uh, Agate, but it's not as shiny. It's more dull. So that's definitely something to watch for. Uh, that's what Agate looks like. Or Topaz, sorry. Um, and you get a lot of it out, out of each uh, vein. I've only mined like a couple of veins. I've already got three or four hundred or whatever. Uh, so let's get in a first person. So Topaz, that's kind of cool. And I already saw, uh, out of the corner of my eye when I was running over here, I already saw um, Tungsten, so I'll show you that one too. So these, are, these are all pretty easy to find out. Once you know about to look on the surface for stuff, instead of trying to look, always look at the end of veins, um, then you'll be fine. The one thing I did see that is, likes to hang out at the end of veins is um, especially uh, these Tungsten vein, veins. This is Tungsten. is silver. Um, but again, it's like tin. It's one of those things where you want to run around on the surface if you need a lot of silver and look for a silver vein that's by itself because that's going to be those deep, long veins that normally would be something like tungsten or iron, um, you know, thing or copper or something like that. But it's kind of like at each tier, there's kind of like two different metals. There's the common metal, which for tier two is tungsten, and then the uncommon metal for tier two, which is silver. And the same thing was occurring at tier one. The, well, there's really more than one common uh, metal at tier one. There was copper, and then there was also iron. And then the uncommon metal was tin, which you don't need as much of. This is kind of cool. I like that. Because then, like, you find some of it. And am I getting stone? Yes, I am. That is so cool. You're uh, kind of excited, you know? You're a little bit excited to find that stuff at the end of a, of a vein. So you, you kind of can't see what I'm doing. I'm just mining out this tungsten vein. I'm not going to do it too long, but there's not a lot else to do, really, on this episode. Um, if you saw, I did have been working on my house. I put those steps in, those stairs, and then I put... Uh, you guys saw me put the flat stone in for the, the mm, bottom level. The stairs with the one voxel like that, you can walk up it. It's really cool. If it's two voxels, you can't. You have to jump. So it's always good to put like the two or the one voxel space and I did that a lot with the selection tool what I did is like I set it all up on like one voxel space and then I clicked each voxel with the selection tool and drug it out horizontally so I can make those steps and I just went underneath the terrain so that I could get it make it all work out uh, so it was, it was pretty simple once you get like oh here it is amethyst nice Apparently, Amethyst, so it looks like there's more, it ha they do that also with gems. Like, I noticed that Tourmaline is, like, the less common gem in Tier 1. So you don't find it on the ground a lot. You mainly find it at the end of veins, mainly tin. Um, and Amethyst is, looks like kind of a similar gem that is kind of rare and where Topaz is, like, all over the place, kind of. And I think in Tier 1, it's Agate is the one that's all over the place. Which is kind of good since you need it for Portal Shards. But, yeah, uh... The selection tool, really cool, really awesome. You want to get used to that. I know you can also use it to create templates. I, I'm going to have to research how to do that. Maybe I'll put it in the next episode, or maybe it'll be in this one. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't have a need for a template just yet. So that's Amethyst. It's that purple color, which is kind of obvious just by looking at the sprite. 
Um, but I wanted to sh I like to show you all the different ores that I find, like what they look like, what their colors are. See, so here's more tungsten hanging out. This should be silver. Technically, I guess it could be tin, but I really doubt that. And remember, I mean, these are this is the best kind of vein you want to get for... Yeah, see, this is tin. I'll mine it just because I need tin. You always need a little bit of tin. But there's really nothing I really require now that I need tin for. One of the things I think they should add to the game is that uh, consumables. I can't wait to see what the consumables are. I want some metallic consumables. I don't want it to be like other games where the consumables are like... Uh, you know, potions only, stuff like that, because then metal is just not as valuable. Yeah, it's it's valuable when you're leveling up, but after that, you're like, you don't require it at all, so it's kind of pointless. But, but like for um, potions, you know, plants are always valuable then, because you're consuming the potion after you create it. You need more plants, right? But again, for the metallic stuff, if they don't have a, um, if they don't have some kind of durability on it, then it's not going to work. Um, and that's really what I've noticed about a lot of MMORPG. Um, uh, a lot of a lot of their economies don't really work because the crafting stuff doesn't have enough consumables that are kind of required for like high level raiding or or high level group work. Like they do have like sharpening stones and things like that, and like uh, World of Warcraft. That's like the consumable for blacksmiths, I think. But it never added enough of a bonus to really be worth it. And I think it even couldn't be shared with couldn't share the space of some other bonuses, so you, you normally wouldn't use it. I can't remember exactly, but again, not the greatest. And you really, the, only the tank ever used it because he wanted to get just a slight bit more DPS for, um, really just for threat. <laughs> so it was like, it wasn't even that great of a DPS machine or tool. So that's 10. We're going to check this. If it's 10, I'm not going to mine it. I think it is because it's not so shiny and silver's a lot more shiny. Yeah. Okay, that's 10. There's a lot of 10 on this biome. We didn't find as many on beach. And more tin. Yeah. It's kind of nice that they have both. But I don't really need both. I'm already done with tier 1. Again, the thing I really can't stand them is that they need to make there be a reason to get iron now. I really don't feel like I need it anymore. Man, this thing has all the tier 1 stuff. That's aquamarine... Tourmaline right there. Iron. Tungsten. That's just stone. I thought that was something else before. I don't see any marble here. I might have to go to the other place to find marble. This should be silver. Pretty sure this is silver. See how it's kind of sparkly too when I was running up? I'm almost positive this is silver. It's, it's a more complicated looking uh, uh, metal. Yep. So that's silver. Kind of complex looking. Lots of different colors moving around in there. Mainly whites and grays. And it's a little bit sparkly, which is kind of cool. I guess it should be, right? It's a precious metal. So this is lucky to find kind of its own vein here. That means this is going to be a giant vein. And a lot of people have said so far this looks like Evermine, and yes, it does. I mean, there's not a lot to the game yet. They're releasing it in phases, uh, which, again, to me is a good idea. Well, also in software de development, you want to do parallel processing as much as possible, which means, like, you want your QA guys. You don't want them sitting around for six months not doing anything. Uh, so what you do is you release modules that they can test and give feedback on and stuff, but your developers are continuing development with the next module. Um, that's really the way, the best way to do software development, um, to keep everybody busy and keep everybody, um, you know, working, engaged, and making the company money for how much money they're spending on them. So that's why they've been doing this. So I'm wondering what the next module they're going to bring out. I need to start reading the news for EverQuest next. Kind of hoping it's some kind of fighting mod module or something. Uh, the damage model model's not even in yet, so it's pretty early in the game. And I would assume they're going to need those kind of basic systems before they do anything else, because, well, <laughs> without health and without all those things, it's going to be really hard to do monsters, because how are they going to kill you? Yeah. Oh, good, we're going to get Topaz Vein at the end of this. I was kind of hoping for an Amethyst one, but I'll, I'll do Topaz. I need like 300 more, right? So watching my silver, I've got almost 12 ingots. Well, really 11 and a half. And I need 37. So I got a long ways to go. Um, how much? How am I doing on elemental? Where's the elemental stuff? Is it down here? 
I don't see any elemental down here. Silver ore. Tungsten. Okay, so these are the ores. Yeah, where's the elemental stuff? Marble. Huh. Maybe I went past it. Ingots. Some weird crap. Ah, here we go. So I got 10 elemental silver. I need 32. Jeez, there's a way to go there. Elemental tungsten. I need 40. I'm getting close. Okay, I'm doing good there. Essence of Earth got tons of. I don't even know what to use it for. So we're going to stick with this. For Topaz, I'm getting a lot closer to being there. Apparently, uh, Topaz is pretty prolific, I think. Essence of Earth. Let's get that last Topaz there. Come on, hit it, buddy. Hit it. Oh, damn. I didn't want to fall down here. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. All right, so that's, that's silver. Need a lot more silver. And then, oh, Amethyst. Nice. Like a whole bunch of it. Um, and then I'm going to need to go chop some trees on a, probably a tier two. I think they said desert. I might be able to do it here. Maybe I'll do it here and see what happens. So Amethyst Vein. This should give me... Well, it won't give me any extra because I noticed with the gem veins, if they're on the surface, they're they're the same size as they would be at the end of some kind of a, uh, a different vein or something. Like if I found one of these off an Amethyst or a Tungsten Vein. Now you can see the Iron Pick is not going through this very quick. I think it's because it's a harder material, and the iron pick is kind of a little bit too low to be mining this. So what I'll probably do is make that tungsten pick first. That'll help me with mining. So I'm just going to look for, let's see, 20 uh, tungsten, 20 elemental, and then what's this other one say? 60 amethyst, 15 heartwood. I should probably go do that first. That will help tremendously with mining speed. I think I'm going to make a video on how to get started quickly, like how to power level your way out of this uh, up the chain here once I because I'm starting to get used to like how to do that like I said the, even though I want to make like five or six things the first thing I should do is make that pick upgrade my pick and then go back and mine everything else out because that's going to save me tons of time right that's the whole point of saving a lot of time or that's the whole point of getting that pick first is you want to save as much time as possible I'm digging a hole diggy diggy hole right there so yeah, this is the giant vein, actually. But anyway, I'm going to be back when I'm done with this. Let's see, is there anything else I need to show you? Just the just the wood. Actually, let me mine this out, and then we'll go do some wood and see if I can get it. I think it's supposed to be desert wood. What am I looking for, anyway? Let's go look at the woods here. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, they should be down here. Yeah. Thistle seed. So that's what I'm going to be trying to get from these local trees here. I should be able to do it with the tin. If I have to have the silver axe, I'm really... No, I can't have the silver axe first because I need it to make the silver axe. So the tin axe should work. Shouldn't... Oh, and... oh, that's interesting. The tools, if you've noticed, the tools that are not axes, like the, I mean, not picks, like the axe and the, and the uh, sickle, are made with the secondary, uh, m you know, metals, like kind of more premier metal from that, from that line or from that tier like uh you know there's copper and iron picks and then of the same tier it's tin axe not iron or copper right it's the more um rare of the metals also with the sickle it's a it's not a tungsten sickle it's a silver sickle so that makes a lot of sense uh they want you to upgrade your pick before you start upgrading your other tools which yeah i can see that man this is a huge vein and again the tin pickaxe is not helping me it's just not helping me here at all. I cannot wait to upgrade this thing. It's slowing me down tremendously. Also, did I put on there I wanted to get the uh, advanced uh, pulverizer? I don't think I did. Mechan mechanized pulverizer or something? Anyway, when I go back to make that pick, I'll look at what it takes to make that a more advanced pulverizer. I'll probably be making that on oh, this episode as well. I'm going to be mining for hours and hours, but that's fine. I really want to build more of my house. I think after this, I'm definitely going to be just building my house for a while. It would be cool if you could keep all this stuff when it went alive. But, yeah, not going to happen. <laughs> Alright, hurry up! People are waiting to see the thistle seed trees or whatever they're called. Come on! I got plenty of amethyst. Oh, this isn't even amethyst! This is Aram 
<laughs> Marin or Marinthine, that's fine. I need this anyway for the upgrade. So this and Amethyst look very similar. I should have known because it was coming off in chunks like like stone does, not like a gem. Wow, you guys are really saying, come on, noob! Don't you know that's not Amethyst? And it has a similar name. Man, they need to change that. Because I noticed, like, the uh, goblins on level 5 are like the goblins on level 3, kind of. They look similar. So why don't we just change the color? You know, that could be kind of cool. If you know what movie that's from, you're awesome. I did, actually didn't quote it correctly, so... <laughs> All right, let's go chop one of these trees and see what happens. And then I'll go collecting the rest of this crap, and I'll meet you back at base. Um, again, I'm only going to be collecting enough to make that tungsten tungsten axe to start off with. Or pickaxe. It's going to help a lot. All right, let's try this guy. Let's see if I can chop him. So I'm getting striped woodlock. Yeah, exactly what I need, because I actually need some of that to make the outfitter's table. 200 striped wood plank so it's not going to take a lot to make those and then I'm hoping off this I get that striped heartwood or whatever it's called so let's see come on baby uh heartwood nah that's not what I need let's see if this tree will give it to me yep too low what's this See, that's not giving me what I need. That is not it. Is that the same as that? Yes. So I might have to go to a different biome. All right, well, I'll be back when I make that pick, and then I'll, off camera, I'll kind of figure out what biome I need to be in for those uh, striped heartwoods or whatever they're called. And, uh, and then after that, I'll be back, and we can do the rest of this um, video and stuff. I'll do the rest of the mining and stuff. So hold on a second. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so we're I'm back here. We're at about the 20-minute mark, which is kind of sad because there's a bunch of stuff I want to talk about now. I crafted these keen eye bands. I did that at, at the uh, portal spire, and it actually adds the chance for you to get like heartwood or something when you're when you're chopping down a tree or something, or some kind of rare resource like elemental resource. Uh, so I also got I crafted two of them, and I got a uh, rare version or something. This blue version here. It's kind of a rare version, so 1.5 Discovery and 1.2. Um, I think it says Superior. That should mean something. Superior, no, okay. Exceptional Accessory, see? So that means I crafted a really awesome one. Now, I love that because what that means is uh, the market's not going to be flooded with that exact item. You know, there's a big problem with that. So you're going to want like a purple or some kind of epic version of this. It's going to go for a lot, hopefully. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Also, I'm going to be moving my base. So wow, it looks really cool, though. I love this look. But but if you look, Kaz is a wall. So the, the problem I'm having is I'm so far from the portal spire that that's a long run all the time. So I want to I wanna go to an island where I can get right next to the portal spire. Like right there would be fine. It's like real easy run right to the portal spire. So I'm going to pick up all my junk here and move. Um, hopefully Kaz will move with me. I don't know if he will or not. Uh, if he does, great. If not, well, I'm doing it for videos. <laughs> so uh, I don't want to waste time running back and forth to the portal spire. So what I'm also going to do is kind of delete everything. That way I'll get back all the stone. I don't want to, you know, leave all the stone here. Which the problem is now I'm going to have to heal this area. Or maybe when I pick up my... Hopefully when I pick up my uh, claim, it, it'll just kind of heal over. So I'm going to do all this to get my uh, my stone back and everything. I think you would get it back anyway when you release your claim. Ooh, that's kind of neat. That's like a... You can make a... Uh, what's that called? Like a like a, a basement area. That'd be kind of neat. So we'll see if it's going to if it's gonna heal back. I, I, I'm almost guaranteeing you that it will. Because they're not going to leave this like space open, right? And there's a way to do this. And I'll do it in a second. So that's a quick way to pick up all your junk. There we go. Oh, there's some more right there still. Okay, I think that's everything. If not, it's fine. I've got tons of stone now. Now, what you do is you push U. Now, I might not get back all of my copper, but that's the way it is. Um, I thought I could... Oh, here we go. So, delete will give you back your tag, uh, flag. So, let's try that. 
that's fine. I get my flag back. See? And then it resets it to the server norm. So it did a complete heal. That's kind of cool. Um, it sucks that I've got this... Get out of here, damn. Uh, stupid interface problems with the F12. Anyway, I'm going to be back when I find a new island. Kaz, if you're watching, please come with me because I want to be next to the Portal Spire so we don't have to run back and forth too much because now I'm having to go to like Tier 2 and Tier 3 islands a lot and I don't want to have some kind of issue uh, running back and forth all the time. And there's a cooldown on that uh, shard, the Portal Shard, so it's something I just really want to avoid, wasting time. So anyway, I'll be back in a second when I figure out what island I want to place on, so hold on. Okay, so I'm back. And I moved my base, If, as you can see here. I, I've got the same... Well, I had... I must be in the back. Yeah, I've got the same setup, as you can see, these stairs, which is really cool. Um, right up to all my crafting stations right here. Um, I don't know if Cass is going to move with me. I don't think he is. He moved his base somewhere else. And the reason I moved is because I wanted to be co closer to the Portal Spire. I think I talked about that. So it's like right there. That's not too far to run. Although, since then, since I last recorded, they changed the cooldown timer on the uh, Portal Spire shard to like 10 minutes from 30 minutes, which is nice. Um, it's 10 minutes still feels long to me, but it's better than 30 minutes. So, anyway, uh, the next thing I want to make is the tungsten, uh, the tungsten axe, pickaxe, but um, so I can mine faster. So I, I'd rather get that as my first upgrade, but to do that, I need to get the silver axe, which will allow me to cut down the next level of tree. Um, silver axe comes from this? I can't remember. Nope. That doesn't look like it. I think it's from the forge. Um, the silver axe is what I need next pretty much to craft everything else. So let's just get that real quick. So we've got pick. No, we want silver axe. Six silver ingots. Uh, six elemental silver some topaz, which I've got plenty of, and then, oh, wild heartwood. I don't have any of that. Let's see if I even have the wood to do that. I do. Sweet. First, let's make the silver. So, metals. Let's make six silver, right? Is it six? Yes. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to look at my ore and count how many ingots I can make of something. Um, that's how I'm doing it, so I don't have to look at both ingots and uh, raw materials, because that would suck. Not that it really matters, but, you know, whatever. Let's do it. Okay, so, uh, for the wood, I think I need this. Let's see. Refined wood, yeah. Wild heartwood. Oh, uh, how much do I need again? Again, I'm going to make it exact amount. Twelve. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a different pick. Okay, <laughs> that's something else. Twelve. Okay, so, I'm only going to have five left over. I'm going to have to uh, chop more of this, but again, I want the better axe because it chops faster, so... You know, why would I waste my time chopping that when I can just have way better axe that chops way faster and do it quicker? That's the whole point of this, right? Um, that's something that's kind of a big deal in these kind of games is how fast can you ramp up your speed on, on harvesting and crafting and things like that. Uh, it just makes life a lot easier, so it saves your time. So let's make the silver axe pretty awesome. Bada boom, there it is. And let's put that here. There we go. Now let's look at that sucker. It looks pretty sweet right now. Number two here. Nice. That thing is awesome. So I'll be back. I'm going to go chop down a bunch of those trees I need to chop down. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, what is the wood specific wood I need called? I know. I think I can remember that. Yeah, thistle seed. This, this stuff comes out of desert trees. So I got to go chop those down. And I'll show you probably when I'm just about done. I'll show you me chopping one of the... You know what? Let's just... No, it takes too long to run to the spire. Let's just use it. Ooh, my last portal shard. Maybe we should make some more before I go. I don't think you can make them here. You have to make them from over here. Which is funny that that thing's not running anymore. Utility, portal shard... Oh, I need... Dang it. <laughs> copper ingots now. Let's make... One thing about copper, though, is I'm using a lot of that stuff. Let's make ten so I can get back to... Um, to fuel my, to keep my house from deteriorating, right? It's 300 copper ore per day. That's not a lot, it's just when you actually have to use it for other things, then it sucks. Like that sucked down a thousand right there. So let's do the portal shards. Let's make two of them. What, what am I doing here? Oh, utility. Portal shard. Let's make two. Sweet. Alright, so we're done with that. 
Got my portal shards. Let's use them real, real quick here. And portal spire. And I'll just show you the trees I'm talking about real quick. Um, in case you don't know what they look like. But, so I'm going to make as many tools as I can. I think this is going to be my last uh, landmark video for a while until they add like new areas of the game or something like that. Because it's kind of pointless to do more of these when I'm just crafting the next higher crafting station or something like that, you know. Doesn't seem worthwhile. So let's go to... I think Beach had the trees I wanted. It's a tier 2 area. These are I'm getting into the higher resources now. So the tier 1 stuff is pretty much... Well, I don't really need to go there. Unless I need copper for my home. Or I need the regular wood uh, that comes from just those regular trees. Which I think you need for all of the special wood con con uh, combinables or whatever you call it. So, yes, I'm in a desert. Let's get that axe out. It is out. There are the trees I need. Let's see. Here's one. You see it right over there? Actually, it's not the one with the leaves on it. It's the other kind. Um, the one with the leaves on it, I think, is a regular tree, but I'm not positive. See this one with like the purple flowers on it? I'm pretty sure this is it. I could not chop this before. Yep. So there we go. Let's look at... Let's get this ready so I can watch myself getting this cool stuff. So, also those bands don't really seem to work that well. I have tried those bands on a lot of things. I think they're just too low right now to matter. Oh, I got two thistle seeds. So yeah, it did work just then. I got a bonus one, I think, from the bands. But I'm not positive. So I guess we'll see. So I should get another one. I got two more. So that's awesome. I already got four. Pretty sure the bands are doing that. So anyway, I'll be back. I gotta chop a bunch of this stuff up. I don't know how many, but it's like tons. And I'll see you back when I'm ready to craft something again. I gotta get more tungsten and, and silver too. So it's gonna be a while. So anyway, hold on a sec, guys. Okay, we're back. And I've got plenty of stuff now to make two more items here. I wanna make the cobalt pickaxe. So let's do that first. But I'm gonna need... Let's just make all my metal into bars. Um, I'm not gonna make everything I wanted to make today. Because there's just really no reason for me to, um, let's just make them all. There's no reason for me to, me to keep playing like I was saying, so there's no real reason to me for me to make like the six, uh, silver sickle and stuff and gather plants and, you know, do alchemy. There's not a lot to do yet with alchemy. And even if there was, like, health potion, well, there's no fighting, so what's the point? So... This is definitely going to be the last beta impression for this piece of the game, unless there's some kind of major update where they, you know, they change out a lot of the game. Um, but it's been pretty cool. I've had a lot of fun. Uh, if they keep it up, I'm definitely going to want to play this game because it's pretty badass. I love the crafting. Um, I love the gathering system. I love the voxels. I love how you craft, you know, create your own house. Um, that's pretty cool. So if they can do something really cool with like the combat and maybe some PvP, or I don't know how they're going to do that, but. That would be neat, and then it would be nice if they had durability on items. With such, crafting being such an integral part of the game, I really hope they put that in. Um, they don't have any right now, but it could be because it's like pretty much extreme beta. Um, but they need things need to break in a crafting game, or it won't work. Like, what if your pick never broke in Minecraft? You would make one pick, and you'd never need another one. So, what's the point of mining? Um, it's even worse in games with like armor and swords and different stuff like that because stuff needs to go out of the system in order to create a demand. Um, usually the best way to do that is if you die, you drop everything, but it's fine. We can just do it where it has durability. So let's do the tungsten pick. Got it. Oh, wait, I don't have petrified heartwood, so let's make that real quick. I did go out and get a whole bunch of wood. So let's get petrified heartwood. I don't know. Let's get 12 for now. Um,. And then, what else do I need? I need... Because I want to make the um, Outfitter's Table too. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I'm going to have to make another platform for it, I think. 30 Petrified Heartwood. So after I finish this, I might as well go ahead and do... I don't know, something like this. There we go. So what was cool is I, I was getting four pieces uh, for the Petrified Heartwood of this uh, thistle seed off of each tree. But it's funny, when I went to... Uh, chop down these heartwood trees. I only got two per, so it's like, wait a minute, isn't this supposed to be easier for me to get now? But, you know, whatever. It wasn't, so. <laughs> it is what it is. Alright, so, let's see. I got ingots, my elemental tungsten, I got amethyst. I got everything I need now. I think I can make both. So, almost done. Good. Let's look at 
Let's go back to the forge here. Tungsten pick. Boom, baby. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Um, let's equip it. I love the iron pick. It looks really cool. Let's see what this one looks like. A little bit cooler. Um, the, the cobalt one probably looks even cooler, but I'm not going to be able to see it in this series right now. Okay, so we're also going to make the outfitter's table. So let's do that here. I think this is the last of the basic crafting stations. The tech forge. That is brand new. Cool. Cobalt. Oh, stone forge. Interesting. A tier 4 upgrade to the stone forge that unlocks item upgrading. Nice. Okay, so I didn't see that before. So, outfitter's table. We have everything we need. Except the bundle of striped wood planks. Let's get that. Okay, let's do this. And we only need a couple hundred, I think. So, let's just do this. It makes two, anyway. All right, Outfitter's Table, go! So this is pretty neat. We're gonna have, well, everything but the Tech Forge. I didn't even know that was there. That's cool. I guess that's only pretty much for upgrading your items. That was not there before. Okay, so I'm gonna need to make a platform and then I'll do like a stairwell, a stair system like I did before. So let's chop down. Can I chop down a tree and it'll actually stay chopped down? I hope it will. It's not possible to harvest that. Oh, I bet you I need to know. I know what I need to do. So let's do stone. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. It's been a while. Stone. No, oh, that's sand. Stone. That. Right. And then we'll do. No, that's not it. That size. I think I can do it right here. That seems about right. Well, you know what? Maybe I should put the wood in first. It's really unfortunate that's there. Oh, I can just take it out, can't I? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, die. No, 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 not that. Undo. Just this. It won't do it. Let's zoom in. I can't see what I'm doing here. There we go. Boom, you're dead. <laughs> Alright, so let's do the wood again. Let's see, this could actually take a while. We're really over the time, but... Since we're screwing around, I guess we could do this. Um, it's not like it takes a lot of time. So let's do one smaller, not larger, smaller. That's delete. Let's do add. There we go. So we'll put one there, and we'll put one, oops, here. There we go. This will just make us our little stair thing. After, off of this, you can do that selection tool is what I, what I kind of found. So that'll get us pretty high. Let's look at where we are with stone. Let's see. Nope, we're there, there, there. Okay, and one larger. So, we kind of want it to be on the edge. Nope, not working. See, it needs to be like, oh, I can't do it because it's not connected. All right, let's go back to wood. They sh they need some favorites or something. This would be a little bit annoying. I'm sure like they can do it. I think it needs to be like that. Let's try it again. Stone, that, that, a little bit bigger. Nope. Actually, no, that's right. Well, it'll be close enough. Because if it's there, let's see. really want it one higher. I can move it back one, right? No, forward one? Yeah, forward one. Move that whole stack forward. And it would work. Huh. Oh, well, it doesn't matter to me. We're just going to do this again. We're not staying here anyway, right? So who cares? All right, let's use the selection tool. No, not like that. Selection tool. Smaller. Actually, could we select, like, this whole thing? No, well, let's just do it smaller. This is taking way too long. Um, We don't need stairs. We're going to do it like this. I'm just going to do this. I don't need stairs. All right, so drag off that direction. That looks good. Move in a little more, it's sticking out. And then, it's weird doing these par parts because this actually does cut into the ground and you lose a lot of um, stone doing it this way. See how it's going into the ground? And it actually will put the stone there, so you gotta be real careful. Like, that's all just wasted stone if you can't, if you can't see where it is right now. No, that's not doing it. 
There we go. How far back do we want to go? That's probably about it. Maybe to there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it's almost outside of the uh, claim right there. In fact, we might want to go back a little bit. Let's do it to there. All right, so now I need to do the add tool. Boom! It didn't work. It's telling me why. Maybe now mine, place box, and nope, that's not it. What? It's supposed to tell me why this isn't working. Why isn't it working? Huh, I have 30,000, you think it'd work. Probably that tree's there. Let's get rid of this stupid tree. No, dang it, escape. This is taking forever! <laughs> How do I delete this? No, delete this tree, idiot. You know what, whatever, we're just going to do it from here. We don't even care, I just want to place it. Again, we're not going to be escape, we're not going to be using this anyway. Uh, maybe maybe some other time, and by then I'm going to have to recreate my base anyway. Let's just do it like this. Alright, that looks good. We're going to do plus. Boom. Alright, we've got a place to put this thing. That's all we care about. Alright, right click it. And... I think this is looking good. Okay, let's do the... Is it that? No. Is it this? This? Shift? Alt? Hold it down? No. Hold shift? Nope. There we go. Hold control. And that looks good. There we go. Nice. Okay, so what can you make with this thing anyway? Let's look. Ooh, artisan's outfit. Okay, cool. Accessories. Keen eye band. I can already make that anyway. Well, I guess I have to go to all the way to the, uh, you know, the portal spot or make that. Trimmer amulet. Powerless amulet. Increase the radius of appropriate harvesting tools. Nice. So there's a lot more stuff I can make. Slight shimmer, those that wear this will wield their harvesting tools faster. Oh, nice. Increased chance to find additional... Okay, so this is even higher. This is the higher level version of it. Nice. So, that is really cool. So, you can do a lot of upgrades here and stuff. And there's to get even better stuff. Let's see, textile. Woven jute. You need that for some uh, other items as well. So, pretty cool. That's one of the last of the basic um, crafting machines here. So, anyway, this has been Nether Void showing you Landmark, the beta impressions I've done so far on it. Again, it's impressions. It's not a review. I have not spent 500 hours in the game. So, anyway, let me know what you think about it, and always stay frosty.